Don't take us for granted as we housemates. We are workers and we are hard working women. We Africans. But when we come up and ask for help, please don't take us for granted. There are so many men African women in Arab countries who came up asking for help who came up crying seriously and they needed help but some people kept on saying we are being mistreated because we are sleeping with, with our male bosses yet it is not the case people are dying most especially women in these houses and no one is concerned but if some people come up and say we are mis being mistreated because we are sleeping with our, our with our male bosses that is not good at all our agents please don't take us for granted we are also human beings a housemaid is a mother, a human being. But when we call for help, you do not respond. Yet you eat the money. You corrected money from us. But when we reach there and we find some problems and we, were, we are like, we need some help, you just take us for granted. The only excuse that you give is that we are sleeping with our bosses please if you learn how to help a housemate we are going to reduce the death in these houses there are so many people who are being buried in those plastic bags there are so many housemates who have been here suffering and they are still suffering after finishing their contracts they have no chance to even talk to their people but they are still in these houses no one knows apart from god so when we try to call for help please try to respond try to help african mothers who are working in these arab countries we've lost so many of them and we've never heard or seen any medical paper that shows what she has been suffering from and for how long. So, please try to respond a housemaid's call where necessary when it is needed. I was once forced to run out of the house after nine months. I was so patient and when i tried to call for help the only thing they told me was it's a weekend they don't work on the weekends so remember <laughs> they don't even ask themselves is today a weekend or not so please our agents and other people who are concerned about the housemaids in arabs yet there are so many women who are still coming even today there are so many ugandans kenyans nigerians in africa general they are still coming to work in these arab countries we are only risking but we trust you guys who are being doing that job while you collect money from us and even you are given money from these people but when it comes to help you go slow please we ask you try to respond a housemaid's call when she is in need of help we are not sleeping with our bosses but we are only trying to do what we are told to do even if they are they are there sleeping with their bosses but they are not all of them it might be two percent maybe but not all of them we are on a mission 
we came knowing what to do. So please, to reduce the number of women who are running out of the houses, you have to take an action. To reduce the number of women who are dying silently, you have to take an action. Do the need. Help the women. We have children back in our countries. Stop saying we are, we are being mistreated because we are sleeping with our male bosses. It is not true. It is not true. Try to respond a housemaid's call. It's our only call. Please, we are asking for help. Not all of us that we are sleeping with them. But when we call for help or when it is needed, please try to answer us. So that we can also reduce the number of women who are dying in these houses. Who are dying silently. This is one of the gospel singer. Jimmy from Kenya. He's a man from Kenya. He wrote and said there are so many Kenyan men working in the Middle East, in Saudi, Qatar, Dubai. The reason you don't hear about men being mistreated is because they do not go sleeping with their bosses' wives. The main reason you see some people get mistreated is meaning the housemates, maybe, in the Middle East is because of indiscipline. Most Kenyans go there and they start doing immoral things and that leads to them being mistreated. I'm a housemaid and I'm a concerned housemaid. This guy was not only meaning the Kenyans, but Africa in general. And we housemaids are so concerned about this post. That's why today I've made up my mind and I'm like, let me talk about this. He said it. Maybe he was saying the Kenyans, but we, even the Ugandans, we saw the post. The Nigerians, they also saw the post. So he was not meaning the Kenyans only, but Africa in general. So this is what I'm meaning. Some people are just taking us for granted. If such people can come out and post such, we are being mistreated just because we are sleeping with our male bosses. Yet women are dying seriously. Please help out. Hmm? You're br just breaking us down. A housemaid who is taken for granted sincerely when we call for help. You people, you don't know what we are passing through. We are in the houses, but you don't know how we sleep, how we eat, and what kind of jobs we are doing. We are just pleading, please, stop breaking our hearts. Stop breaking us down. Depression kills these women in the houses. Depression is a killer. What we are passing through is enough for us. So if you post such, and really, it breaks us down more. Please, we are just begging you, before you post something, just to know there are some people you're going to hurt. Otherwise, I salute every woman in the house. You are such a wonderful and you're doing a great job. And may God bless the work of your hands. Be blessed, stay safe, stay focused, focused and don't give up. I love you all. Be blessed.